All right, let's find the limit as h goes to 0 of h over the tangent h. What I'm going to do first is use the identities of co of sine or of uh, trig functions. So that's tangent. That equals sine h over cosine h, the limit, of course. And then I can flip and multiply. So that's h cosine h over sine h. Again, that's the limit of all that. Now, the formula, actually the better thing to do, let me erase that and start over. The smarter thing to do, because I want to get to something like this. I want to get to sine h over h. That's what I'm really looking for. So if I um, multiply by, I'm going to multiply, I'm going to, I'll, do it. I'll write this out. It's going to be h cosine h over sine h. But you can take this now and flip it to the bottom. So that's the limit of the cosine h all over sine h over h. Imagine taking that and multiplying by the reciprocal. I did the reverse of that to get to there. It's kind of an algebra trick. This thing here as h goes to 0, this goes to 1, and the cosine of 0 is 1, so this equals 1.